Hello, today we are going to have a short presentation on how to find new books on mcl.org. In today's video, we will review tools built into mcl.org catalog, some of which include about the author, you may also like, tags, and more. Starting out, we are going to go to mcl.org. And then we're going to click on catalog and browse our catalog. For the purpose of this exercise, anyone from an internet savvy child to an adult can and should try out some of the tools I'm going to be highlighting today. So I'm going to type in the title of a book that I enjoyed that I, as a reader, would like to find other books that are recommended to me based on my preference in this one book. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type in that title. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down here to the book version of this book, Arusha and the End of Time, which is a middle grade book, which I recommend for kids 10 through 100. Um, I really love this book, but as much as I have a lot to say about the title, uh, this is about how to help a reader find a book based off of a book that they already liked and getting to know the Mercer County Library catalog tools a little bit better. So here we have the title. We can see it's in a series. We have the author, the ISBN number, and the brief summary, publishing date, call number, format. Now here, if I click on summary, I can find, I can see the full summary of the book. If you are interested in reading the summary, go ahead and pause now. I'm going to exit out. The next thing that I want to show you is about the author, which is going to give us a blurb about the author. And it's also going to show us the other books that this author has written. So this right here is a great tool. Okay, if I loved the Arusha series, which I did, well, maybe I should check out some of the other books by this author. I'm going to click out of here now to bring you to the next tool, which is series. This book is part of a series. And if we click on it here, we can see the order of the series. So let's say I read this book, but I had not yet read uh, read the next book in the series, I can see that here and I can check the availability. Let me exit out there. Now here is a tool I really want to highlight. You may also like. So here, this, uh, our catalog is generating book recommendations for me. So um, what you may not know is the Arusha series is part of the Rick Riordan Presents books. So I'm going to see a lot of the Rick Riordan Presents books because this is a book based off of Hindu mythology. So here we're going to see all different kinds of mythological fantasy books, some of which are by Rick Riordan himself and some are by authors that he has put under his publishing label. Now, not all of these books that it's recommending to us are part of that collection. Like I can see here, this book is not one of his, uh, under his imprint. If I scroll down more, I can see this is not under his imprint. How do I know? I'm seeing that RR stamp there. So going ahead and looking, at middle grade fantasy books, I can see a lot of great recommendations for, like I said, generally an average of um, starting 10 to 12, all the way up to 100, because I love reading middle grade myself and I'm an adult. 
Um, here is a book that I've been meaning to read for a while. Really popular titles along the way. So really good recommendations. I'm going to exit out of this tool, which is you may also like to showcase a couple other ones. Okay, here we have librarian lists, professional reviews, and reader reviews. These are all good, but I'm going to skip over. Also available as is if you were looking for the book in ebook, paper book, um, or CD. And this is showing di different uh, form formats for the book. Now, the next tool that I want to highlight is tags. This is a really good tool, but this tool probably takes the most playing around with, in my opinion. So starting off, we have SFF, which is science fiction fantasy. And we can filter our tags by looking at either I know that book I said is about mythology. So I'm going to search for mythology tags. Now I'm seeing Homer, I'm seeing um, Edith uh, Hamilton, great books, great authors, but I'm still in that by a children's literature mood. So I'm going to click children's. So I have mythology and I've added the tag children's and we have Percy Jackson. So I'm in probably in the right realm. And we have the book of three, which is an excellent book and series for those of you out there who like middle grade fantasy. Now let's say, okay, these look good, but maybe I want them to be, instead of children's, maybe I want to see young adult. Maybe I want to go a little bit older. Well, we still have Percy Jackson, but we have Narnia, we have The Hobbit, uh, we have Watership Down, we see Neil Gaiman. So we're getting a little bit older at that reading level. We have some good options here for us as readers. Now, the thing with tags that I recommend is if you're going to use this tool, play around with it. Um, don't be afraid to add some more tags and potentially take some away. Uh, but this is a great uh, tool for us to find our next read. So I'm going to exit out of here for us to look at reading level, because I know that this is something that educators, parents, and caregivers are really interested in. And maybe kids out there are too. They're going to say, okay, I want to know, is this book at the reading level that I'm reading at? So again, we're, this is my book pick, Ayrshaw and the End of Time. We're looking at reading level. Many books, we have the Lexile measure. Uh, we have, and the age grade level. So here again, this is just the uh, publisher recommended age grade level. Obviously, if you are a parent or caregiver, you're going to know the needs of your child best. Um, but starting out with an age range of eight to 12, like I said, this is a book that I enjoyed as an adult, so I do recommend it to pretty much, um, I would say, at least ages 8 up. Um, personally, I thought 10 to 12 up, but some kids are advanced readers. And here we have grade range 3 through 7. We're starting out this book is following a 12-year-old, so that also helps me figure out the reading level. And then here we can click awards and we can see some awards that this title has won. Some of the tools that we have available to us through mcl.org. I hope that this video helped empower you to find your next favorite read. Happy reading!